There are going to be times in the life of every Christian person when it seems as though, as they say, the heavens are brass, when it seems as though the prayers go to the ceiling and bounce back to the floor. It just seems as though God is not listening. And I want to suggest again that there are times when even though God is always listening and always attentive to our prayers, there are times when he does not indicate it. There are times, in fact, when he would have us to press a little harder and to push a little farther. And so there are times when he will seem to be silent and hope seems to be hidden. Sometimes for you and for me, it's hard to believe in a promise when it seems so far away. I read all this in the scripture about the strength of Christ's love for me. I read the promise that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. So why is it then that as a child of God, I have known what it is to feel that I cannot find him at precisely the time when I feel that I need him most? Why is it that God sometimes seems so very far away? when he has promised his presence to me so very, very clearly. And when God hides his face, one of two things will happen. Either like Job and like David, we will long for him and we will seek him and we will hunger and thirst for him and the sense of his distance will be distressing to us until it is resolved or we'll just settle and carry on when God is silent and everybody has those seasons in your life. If you haven't had one yet, hang on, you're going to have one. (laughs) And there are seasons and times in the lives of every one of us who believe in Jesus Christ where it seems like all the promises that God has ever given us are dissipating. We we were so filled with faith. We so believed that moment that God spoke and said things like, I'm going to bring your family home to me. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to give you freedom. I'm going to use your life for my glory. And we were so filled with faith and so filled with hope. And in this season, in these times when we go through these things, it's important that you and I learn to stay strong when we feel that God's voice has become silent. Stay strong when God seems to be silent for the victory is still yours. It's not been taken away from you. No matter what your eyes see, There's a little Sunday school song that they used to sing in church years ago. All is well, all is well, no matter what my eyes may see, no matter what my ears may hear, all is well, all is well, for God shall fight for me. All is well, all is well. The Lord sent me this morning, I believe in my heart, to tell you that all is well. All is well. You're not cut off from the life of God. No, sir. You belong to Jesus Christ. No, ma'am. You belong to Jesus Christ. His victory is still your victory. Your future is the future he has prescribed for your life. You've not lost it because of a few mistakes along the way. No, no, no. That's not the way God operates. Stay strong, my brother. Stay strong, my sister. Stay strong in the promises of God. Don't let any voice or any circumstance take that from you. Stay strong. Stay strong. Sometimes a silent heaven is just inviting you and me to fight harder. To push just a little bit farther. With man it's impossible. With God all things are possible. Can I trust God when he's silent? Or do I have to have something? Do I have to have some, uh, some indication that he's listening? Can I trust him that when he's silent, he hasn't changed? And so silence sometimes is his way of teaching us to trust him. 
that I don't have to see it, I don't have to feel it. And most people's religion is by their feelings. Their Christianity is by their feelings. If I feel like he's here, then he must be here. Well, I haven't felt like God was with me. Listen, you may not have felt like God was with you at times in your life, but what does he say? He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So can you trust him when he's silent? Can you trust him when he appears to be absent? Can you trust him when you don't feel anything, but when he says in his word that I'll never leave you nor forsake you? We all go through times where it doesn't feel like we're making progress. We're praying, but our prayers aren't being answered. We're being our best, but not getting good breaks. The problem hasn't turned around. Seems like God went on vacation. But the silence is not a sign that God is not working. He may not be changing the circumstances, but he is changing us. God uses the seasons of silence to get us prepared. When we're not getting our way, we're doing the right thing, but we're being overlooked. Our friend got married, but we're still single. We're working harder than our coworker, but they got the promotion. We feel overlooked, undervalued, forgotten. These times of isolation where you're not being celebrated are extremely valuable. Nothing may be changing on the outside, but something's happening on the inside. Your character is being developed. You're learning to not depend on people. You're gaining experience, maturity, strength that you'll need to go where God is taking you. And when God is silent, that doesn't mean he's not concerned. Silence is not a sign that God has forgotten about you, just the opposite. It's a sign that he's closely watching you. He's getting you prepared for new levels, but if he brought you out before you were ready, it would stop your purpose. Now you may be in a season of silence. You feel like you're hidden, but the silence doesn't mean God has forgotten about you. He's heard every prayer, he's seen every tear, and at the right time, God is going to bring you into what he's already prepared. God is not preparing the blessing for you, he's preparing you for the blessing. The promised land was already in place. He had to get the Israelites prepared. Favor is already in your future. There are blessings that already have your name on them. The right people, divine connections already lined up. You keep passing the test in the silent seasons. You keep getting prepared and you're going to come in to more than you can ask or think. It may look like it's never going to change. The truth is, it's a season of silence, not a lifetime of silence. What God has spoken over you, there is an appointed time for it to come to pass. Keep growing, keep improving. The silence is only temporary.